Greetings, sirs and sirettes, and welcome for the very first time in 2017 to Galactic Junk League with me, Lathrix. Now, this game is a game I played a very long time ago on the channel, but ended up not really doing too much with because I deemed it a little bit too early access. The game was still changing. At that time, I was still playing Robocraft and putting a lot of time into other similar games, and I simply didn't have the patience nor the time to play it and figure out all the changes as they were happening, because honestly it was being updated very, very quickly. Well, now the game is finally available on Steam, I thought I would have a quick look-see at the game, see how the new player experience actually pans out, and see if it's a game I want to continue on the channel. So the basic premise of Galactic Junk League is that you are a junker, you are here to build your ship, go out into the wastelands and claim it for your own along with your team. It is a team-based arena battling game in a similar vein to things like Robocraft and the upcoming title Drone. You build your ship out of components which take up CPU and build the ship of your dreams. Now as you level up you will get access to different types of ships which have different base stats and I'm thinking may have access to other, if I go into the block area, to other abilities. At the moment, because I'm only level 3, all I have access to is the rookie ship, which is a balanced yet fairly weak nothing special ship which everyone gets at the start. I have just now unlocked a brand new weapon in the form of the Gatling Gun, and I already have a rocket launcher and a phaser. All pretty weak weapons for the lovely starter vehicle, but thankfully not too much CPU and fairly easy to place. You don't have to actually purchase the items each time you place them, but you do have to research them when you unlock them. The research becomes available as you level up. So this game is currently free. However, there is of course micro transactions in the game, I said that very weirdly but I'm sticking to it, in which you can purchase this stuff here, space credits, in which you can get things like premium or purchase things like, if you go to the shop, I believe the skins? No, the skins are actually the regular currency which you get from playing the game. So actually pretty much everything you can get by just playing the game. This is just a helpful thing, until I find otherwise. So, premium gives you more experience and more stuff from battles, and apparently you can go ahead and purchase the bundles. Ooh, pirate skin bundle. Now that's something I haven't seen. Can you buy the pirate skin normally? Yes you can, and that looks awesome. Ah! So that does require the premium currency, but of course it's only a skin, it's not actually going to help you out, it just looks really cool. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to build a brand new ship, a brand new rookie ship, and we're going to get into a few fights. This intro took way, way too long. I have so far played two matches after coming back in 2017, and one thing I noticed is it seems like I was going up against a lot of other rookie ships, so I'm assuming there is some kind of matchmaking in the game and if there isn't, then it seems like a lot of people are only now getting into the game because of the jump to Steam, so it's not too much of an issue, we're probably not going to be too outclassed, and I'm hoping there is some form of way of ensuring I'm not going to be against all of these specialised ships straight away. So, I'm going to build this particular vehicle all around using the Gatling guns, because the Gatling guns just seem way, way cooler and they are longer range than the other weapons. Since I have only came up against rookies so far, that means having this gun means we have the range advantage over the other rookies. So, let's put one there and let's continue building, although actually that's a bit too far forwards. This is our core, and if the core gets destroyed, you lose the game, you simply die. Well, you don't lose the game, you respawn, I believe it's the first to 20. Currently, there's only a team deathmatch mode available. I think I'm going to do is build somewhat like a Stingray or a Manta Ray, have a large front section here, and then have the guns on top, possibly on the bottom, and then have the thrusters on the smooth side of that, and then a few thrusters on the back. We also need our single ability, which is the Overload, which takes AP, not CPU, thankfully. And I would very much like a lot of gyroscopes, because this helps with turning. So... Let's get back to our very, very basic building. 
A small change of plan, I no longer want the back to be quite as thin as I was going to build it because that is just screaming to be destroyed. And that would be very, very bad considering that's where our core is. So instead, we're going to do this. Now, I, oh, I was about to say I don't think there's a mirror mode. There actually is. That was not in existence the last time I played. Well, that's fantastic. Really happy I figured that out nice and quickly. So something like that, and then if we go into this slot, we can add some of our movement parts, like so. Yeah, that's looking okay. It's not looking the best in the world, but for a pretty rushed build, it's also not terrible. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty happy with that. That can stay as it is. So next, I do need some gyroscopes. So gyroscopes, as you can imagine, are what help you turn in the vast emptiness of space. And they are going to go here. I'm hoping two will be enough, because right now, we don't have that much CPU for weapons, and that's pretty bad. Yeah, only three weapons? That's very low. There's not much firepower coming out of this craft. Maybe sacrificing one of our thrusters for an additional Gatling gun? Maybe. Maybe. I'm okay with this still. I'm still happy enough with it, just hasn't quite panned out as I originally intended, but I am currently recording this whilst my next Terratech video is currently rendering. So I have about an hour, maybe two hours at most, so obviously I want to focus on games, less so this element. How much do these cost for? Um, do you know what look better there? Just that on the corners, just to add a little bit of variety. We can also go into add-ons, which don't really add much. They just look nice. So, for instance, adding a, a couple of lights. So it kind of looks like it's got derpy eyes. It's interesting, if nothing else. Or a junk wing. Actually, that would look pretty cool there. Okay, lights go away. No longer want you. I want you instead. Now, I'm fairly certain you can get plating for your blocks to make them a lot sturdier, but right now, I don't have access to those. Once I level up, I should be able to unlock them a little bit quicker. Um, didn't mean to do that, obviously. Go away. So last thing we need to add then, utility, engine overload. Uh, don't really care where this goes. Let's just put it right there. Oh, the core is completely exposed on the bottom. Didn't think about that. Did not think about that at all. Okay, so easy way we're going to fix this, destroy these, and obviously on the other side as well, but put mirror mode back on. Construction, hull prism. Yeah, this thing's going to be really slow. It's going to be slow and tough to turn. But I'm hoping it'll be protected enough, at least if we're being attacked from the front. Uh, this is just a noob doing noobish building. That really is, is, is exactly what's going on here. Well, at least that's made it look a little bit more constructed. I do want more CPU. I believe you get more CPU as you level up, so that's something we'll just have to get in time. Okay, let's just quickly take this into the practice mode. Now, I do have access to some keys which have been given to me by the developer in order to get um, more CPU, more levels, more currency and all that as part of a press kit, because I'm a YouTuber, yay! But I've decided not to use that, at least for now, as I want to see the leveling process. So this is my turning speed. Oh boy, that is slow. Oh, boy, am I slow. Yeah, that is quite bad, actually. Let's get back into editing mode. Don't think that's going to be good enough, so I'm going to have a quick think about how to alter this, and I'll be right back. Also, really should do some spray painting. How do I even change the colours? Aha! Oh, cool, we have all of them unlocked. Is there a way to spray everything at once, or, or am I going to have to do this manually? Oh, I can't spray the regular junk blocks. That's a shame. Okay, so one change I am going to make is I'm going to put two of the weapons on the bottom. We've also painted them blue, because blue is pretty. But this way, if enemies are underneath us, we can still attack with two of our guns. If enemies are above us, we can still attack with two of our guns. Not the best in terms of being able to fire all weapons at once, because we're going to need them to be essentially right in front of us, but 
I feel like that would be the best bet so we can't be outmaneuvered that easily. Unless we want to stay on the bottom of the map, which actually fits our build style at the moment. Maybe. Maybe. But I think for now I'll leave it like this. I am tempted to go back to rocket launchers because at least I know how they work and I do adore rocket launchers, but I think this would be the best idea. I'm also going to keep it as slow as it is because right now we have so much armor on the front, I think it's worth it. We're going to be quite tanky and quite hard to kill, and as someone who's not used to the game yet, that is probably the best bet. Although... When I say tanky, I mean as tanky as you can get when you have very, very little in the way of armoring up your vehicle. We do actually have a little bit of CPU left. And, ah, the gyroscope only costs 20, so I could put one more gyroscope in, and that could just go here. Okay, yep, yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Just adding that gyroscope and then painting that blue. Oh, you can't paint the, the gyroscope either. Hmm. It's very limiting on what you can and can't paint, but certainly understandable. Okay then, with all of that out of the way, let's just get into a battle and see how it does. I would also like to see how long the queue is. Wow, even with the booster thrusters, we are just that slow. Right now, the boosters are on, and I still feel sluggish. That is a very, very bad sign indeed. Okay, try and stick with our teammates as much as possible. Try and stay back. We've got a very cowardly vehicle. Somewhat tanky with somewhat long range. Obviously need to lead our shots a little bit, which we really wasn't doing at the start. But there we go. One of our teammates grabbed him and he is down. Wonderful. First kill goes to our team. Now that grab is one of the abilities from one of the other specialized vehicles. Not sure which. And that, I believe, was a shield when that's activated. Okay, hitting most of the shots there. Oh, we're out of range. Okay, helped it up. Okay, that's the guy who had loads of firepower. Let's go for his guns if we can. Now we're out of range. We did a little bit of damage to him, certainly more than he did to us. Enemy below us, and we are doing very little. He's got his shields currently on, and he's got the larger missile, which I currently have not unlocked. This is my death. Definitely. Yeah, I think we should have built more like this guy. This guy knows what he's doing. Because the amount of burst potential with those guns is very high. He's also likely much more agile than us, spending less CPU on just useless blocks. We have certainly learned our lesson, and I will be rebuilding this vehicle, probably from scratch, after this battle. It doesn't help as well, I haven't been on, on this map before. There's a load of new maps which I haven't explored, so I have no idea where I'm really meant to go. I'm just sort of meandering through the map, hoping for the best. About to get in range of this guy, who's in big trouble anyway, so... Yep, didn't really help out too much there. I believe the money you get at the end of the match is based on your score, so obviously still trying to do little bits of damage here and there certainly help. Give me that shield. So that is the diamond shape. Yeah, yeah, first kill. This is the... No, don't kill me! I was just saying how good you were! Oh. Oh, look at our core! <laughs> a few more seconds. What I should have been doing is spinning then, I suppose, to minimize the amount of damage he's doing to one place. There goes one of his guns, there goes the other. His core is now vulnerable. He's doing something, I have no idea what that is. Okay, enemy above us. Oh, enemy there as well. Let's try and go for his last gun if we can. There it goes. Um, have you been completely nullified? on such high health, but yeah, okay. Definitely prefer this gun to the missiles. Although the missiles are kind of fire and forget, which is very good for someone who's just focusing on controlling the ship at the moment, because I have no idea how to do anything right now. Um, it, it's more satisfying to use this weapon, let's just say that. Go for his gun as much as possible. No, not the armor plate. I'm being hit by something else. Uh, is it you? Yes, you've got the close range weapons. They get stronger the closer they get. Okay, we've taken out one of his guns. We've also revealed his core. At least I do feel better protected in comparison to a lot of these vehicles. I would self-destruct, but again, I don't know if that actually gives points to the enemy team. And since it's quite a close battle at the moment, I don't want to test that out right now. Is that shield completely null damage, or is it just a reduction? It looks like a reduction to me. Ow, ow. 
killing spree. Okay, that's going to come to a swift end. Yes, indeed it is. Not too bad. Actually, our vehicle's doing okay. Being so tanky in comparison to some of the enemies we're facing is actually not doing too terribly. Not good. I want to stress that. It's not good. But it's not terrible either. One more kill and we have won the match. That guy up there is low health, so let's try and guarantee the kill. We got fourth place on our team. Not too bad at all. And by the looks of things, we're kind of halfway if we compare both teams together. Awesome. Not a bad first fight for the day, if I do say so myself. So, we are now level 5. So let's see if we've got an increase in our CPU. The audio has also gone really quiet for some reason. Oh, hello. Generator overload. And the tactical jump. We also reached level 5. Which gives us... Ah, excellent. The armor plate. That's what I wanted to see. Yes, so we do now have more CPU to play with. We could either add a new gun, add a new thruster or start armor plating. Although I do need to research stuff. Um, armors, yeah, oh no, I want all these things. Tactical jump allows the ship to hyper jump for a short distance. Increases energy re regeneration. Well, right now we don't need that. Simple as that. We also don't have access to the generators yet, which is kind of sad, which is just gives you more energy. I believe it's, it's either give you more energy over time or increase your maximum energy. I think there might be an option for both. I think I'm going to unlock the armors, just because I do like the basic speed buff. Um, although the teleport is good, but for now, just unlock armors. That's definitely going to come in useful. And maybe just stick with this ship for now, because I can't be bothered to rebuild again. And let's just add a new gun. Let's add one more gun so we've got a little bit more burst potential. Now, I don't think you can mix guns. Remove that. No, you can't. Okay. So one more Gatling gun there. Uh, we have a little bit of spare CPU, so we could add ourselves a gyroscope, um, help our turning. Turning wasn't really the issue, it was just basic speed, but at the same time, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. And we could, we could go down the route of armor. Um, armor planes, let's see their health and such. Ahem. 96 HP. Oh wow, yeah, those are... Yeah, I would really want this. Also, look at that. Oh, cool, so you can actually get basic blocks as well, which are armoured. Steel bridge. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty and would totally fit here. Like that. Oh, that looks nice. And I'm guessing they're also heavier. Uh, mass for, for, let's say, the pyramid is 8. Regular pyramid is 3.2. Okay, so there is a fair bit to do still. Either way, let's just add a little bit of armour to the front. Why not? It'll look nice. Although it will slow us down even further. But look at that. It looks perfect. And now it's blue. I said now it's blue. So let's get into one more match. Let's see if that helps out at all. And next time we can be a bit more... A little bit more knowledgeable about how to build our craft and try a little bit harder. I would like to say a quick sorry for how loud that last match was. I don't know why, but the audio in this game has a horrible habit of resetting itself, and right now I'm being forced to record on a single audio channel, in that my voice and the game audio is both being recorded in a single file. Normally I keep them separate to make editing far easier, but apparently that's just not working today, at least for this particular title. This time I I've made sure to turn down the audio by half, so it should be a lot easier to hear what I'm saying, and it shouldn't be quite as deafening. And into the fight we go. This time I have turned down the audio. I do apologise for the last game being a little bit loud, and the music even in the build mode being a little bit loud. Sadly, I am being forced to record on a single audio channel for this video, so it didn't really work out all that well, because like I was saying, I am rendering other videos in the background, which takes a lot of CPU, and recording a video and having different audio channels seems to be a bit more intensive. Okay, so that's one of the smaller, faster craft. Need to be very cautious about that, and that's why. No idea what the circle is, honestly. Oh, down goes one of our craft. First blood to the enemy team. Oh, come on. Thank you. Finally, we can do something. Face the wrath of our single extra gun. Okay, didn't quite kill it, but we did do brutal damage to it. With you, I'm just aiming at the back there. I was hoping that his core would be exposed. Sadly, didn't quite happen. His gun's at the front there, so let's try and focus on that. There's the core. The core is now fully exposed. Let's just go for that instead. 
Okay. That's all I wanted to see. About to be in range. There he is. Oh, he's doing something. I have no idea what that ability is. Uh, probably some sort of power thing, I'm assuming. Okay, kill assist. I think adding the extra gun was definitely the right idea. A little bit of damage done there, not much. Still unsure about the whole self-destruct giving points thing, so... Hopefully we'll see that happen in, in the future and then figure it out quickly. Okay, if I go up, I can get all my guns active. There we are. Let's go for his guns on the front. Okay, long-range weapon coming from that guy there with the shield. Which, again, I think is the battleship. Let's get out of here. We're going to be sniped if we just stay out in the open. Ow. Ahem. Piloting error. Okay, there we go. He's about to come in range, but it'll be a little while. Oh, no, he's going very, very fast towards us. Course fully exposed. And can we take him out? Only have bottom guns currently firing. Yeah, we need to reposition the guns. We are learning. That's the whole point of today. We're learning. Hey, get me. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I just want more guns. Okay, bad, bad, bad. He had his shield active at the start there, so a lot of our damage was nulled. However, I believe he's so damaged he also wants to run away. We have lost our special ability. We're too damaged. Oh no, we haven't. We've lost all of our gyroscopes. We, ca we can't turn right now. Took out one of his missile launchers there. The core is almost exposed on him as well. We okay, we're being sniped. We're being everything. We're dead. It's going to be close, but I think we're going to lose this. We're about to lose another point. What is that gun he has? It's awesome. It's similar to ours, but it shoots faster. Unless he just has more of them. But I think he's the freak. I don't know. I don't even know. I'll figure out when I make one on my own and look at the symbols. Or just, you know, look up the symbols. That might help as well. Either way, it does seem like a lot of the triangle ships seem to have that same gun. Awesome. Come on, get down! No, he's dead. He's so dead. Yep, there he goes. And down goes he in revenge. Oh, it's going to be so close. 15 to 16 right now, sadly in their favour. That cross needs to die. He's doing way too much damage. Doing a bit of an aggressive thing here. I just want to take him out. There he goes. Probably not worth it. Being hit now at long range by that guy. Yep, that's some kind of sniper weapon. I believe it's a cannon. I think I remember that gun from before. I I think I loved it. If I recall correctly, I think I was using it and I really enjoyed using it. So Hopefully in the future I'll get that again. Just try and core him out. There we are. 18 to 7, but we're about to lose one, so it's going to become 18 to 18 in just a moment. Okay, I'm far ahead, but I've got teammates. Oh, this is so close! No, let me win! Let me win. Hello. You are the sniper fellow. Oh, wow, that gun really hurts. Okay, I am low on health now, so I'm, I'm going to get back. I don't want to be the kill which wins them the match. Okay, got a couple of shots off. Oh, okay. And... No! It tied! We're about to... We were about to win! But we are top on the scoreboard. Seven kills, one death, four assists. Oh! Gee, freaking gee. What a shame. I think one of our guys was also dying, so that could have been either one winning. But, oh, that was such a fun match. Really happy with that. Also, really like those guns. So... Did we just get to level 6? Yes, did. Okay. So what do we get from level 6? Aha! There we go. The battery and the energy generator. 
basic energy generator increases energy production of the ship, and basic battery increases... Okay, so if you don't know, um, as the ship uses its weapons, it obviously drains power. Once it reaches no power, if you try to fire when it's in that critical area, you become overheated, in which you can't fire for a prolonged period of time, which is very, very annoying indeed. So where's our second gyroscope, anyway? We don't just have one gyroscope, do we? Was there one on the inside? Yes, it's over there. It must have been really unlucky to have both of those knocked out. Either way, though, we have a little bit more CP, and I think maybe an extra gyroscope might be a good idea. Either way, though, for now, I am going to call the episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed, and if you would like to see more Galactic Junk League on the channel, then please feel free to leave a comment. It really does mean the world to see people say that they want to see a game covered, and next time I promise I won't have the audio levels all over the place, because I won't be rendering it when I'm trying to record. So, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Galactic Junk League is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.